And then Liam could just run by like, ah! And then we could drink. Hey, this is a, this is a good breakfast beer. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, we actually weren't on a river, uh, to be honest. We were on our way back from a Boundary Waters trip back in 2007, I believe, 2008. It was the year we got engaged. We were engaged. engaged. So, so yeah, it was, it was 2007. It was the boundary after the Boundary Waters trip that we got engaged on, actually. We spent a week paddling and thinking up hundreds of names. Mm -hmm. And then you said, what How about, about Bent Paddle? <laughs> and it just sounded right and it felt right and then we kind of sat with it for a while mm -hmm. and then we just kept coming back to it so it just kind of worked yeah. well i know it did <laughs> <laughs> So we, we agreed on Bent Paddle from the start. It just felt right. Um, it also was what Brian always says as like a combination of his two favorite passions, being outdoors paddling and brewing. When we explored partnership with Colin and Laura Mullen, they had a different name in mind. And so there was a little bit of exploration under which name the company was going to be. Was it going to be Bent Paddle? or would it be six string? Uh, Colin Mullen has his degree in um, music and six string was the name that they had in mind. And when we decided on Duluth um, as a location, that paddle just fit better with um, the branding story that we wanted to develop with a tie to the outdoor education and outdoor recreation. It also had more of a direct tie to uh, brewing as well uh, because I had been using a bench after you paddle yeah. for, uh, for mashing in for many years uh, at, the, at the brewery. Good question. That is a great question. Get a job at Ben Paddle. I was I guess. just gonna say <laughs> the easiest way to make that happen, I don't know for a lifetime, but for a long part of uh, your career is get a job here because one of the benefits is free beer. We get that question a lot. <laughs> Well, uh, it's if, a great idea. Yeah, it is a great idea if the laws would change in the state of Minnesota, allowing more than one tap room, we would possibly look at it. We so definitely wouldn't say no. The law right now, as it stands, you can only have one tap room. And um, it just wouldn't make sense for us to move our roots. Um, but if laws change, never know. Never say never. do not make paddles, but we have partnerships with lots of people that do, and they're extremely talented, handcrafted. Um, in our tap room here, we have several from uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin companies. Sigrud, we have Sanborn, Winona, Damn Good. Bending Branches. Bending Branches, and Glowroot Designs, our local Duluth maker, um, which we also use personally. Paddling 